very interesting uh, plain Jane coronet hemi. 33,000 miles. Very interesting car. Definitely probably worth a few bucks. Something you don't see often. Mid 70s, holy. Yeah, there's only four wagons. I like this look, factory style interior and factory ish. Tri powered. But yet it's lowered and has rims on it. And it's a post car, so. Wow, the Hemi car is so quiet. to wake up uh, Walmart parking lot spare you the videotaping of where we camped uh, somewhat I uh, so yeah trying to wake up uh, today's agenda I'm going to look at an Omni GLH after when I picked up the computer yesterday I really loved the one that that guy had Randy I sh and uh, sh so I actually stumbled across one for sale here in Edmonton, so we're gonna go take a look at it. Guy wants 3,500. Mileage seems okay. He says it does have a bit of uh, rust in one of the floor pans, so but that means different things to different people. So I'm excited to go take a look at it. Where I'm gonna put it, who knows? Uh, I'll have to store it back in Manitoba at my home property. So, but yeah, let's uh, yeah let's carry on and we'll take a look at it. Somebody camping on a neon. There's a, yeah, definite, a tough one. But uh, we got a lot of truckers and camp guys this morning. You know what I think's going on here at the West Edmonton Mall? A drug deal. I'm sure of it. I don't know if it's cocaine or meth. I think it's crystal meth. See, she's shoving something in her pocket there. It's the it's the meth or the money. I know it. I could go undercover, you know. I'd be good at it. What are you doing? Trouble? And there's a squirrel there. Huh? Trouble? What are you guys doing? Huh? Where's your gang? Where's your homies? Oh, you want in the barrel. You think it's garbage. Surprised you're not flying away.
We're getting in pretty close. Five feet away. Guess I'm going kind of slow and they don't feel threatened. There it goes. Uh, I rented one two years ago to haul a short box Dodge truck and how much was it? 30 bucks? About 30 bucks a day. Oh, yeah. And I don't know where I'm towing it to yet. I'm either going to be towing it to a vehicle to Brooks or to Manitoba. So I haven't figured that out yet either. So everything's kind of... Uh, yeah, I hear you. Mine was an old Le Mans Tempest. Yeah, my four man PTO. Yeah. <laughs> So what do I think of the Omni GLH and buying it? Well, first of all, it's a rare car. They only made them for three years. 85, 86, 87, I think it was. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they made them in 88. I can't remember. And each year they made them. They were turbo-powered and quite a bit of horsepower in a light vehicle and I think the production figures were somewhere around 3,000 uh, each year so there's quite a few of them out there and they're getting harder to find somewhat so there is an interest that way however the floorboards are a little rougher than what I expected I was hoping for a little bit of work but I think it will need a little half half floors maybe give or take and I don't know if I've got the resources to do that at the moment so I'm gonna put a hold on it at 2500 I would definitely take it and then I gotta figure out how to tow it back to at least Manitoba or possibly put it at relatives in southern Alberta medicine hat uh, so I'm still thinking we're gonna think a bit about this but it is a neat car, so yeah, so undecided, so let's take some time. The guy selling it wants to move to BC in three weeks, so I'll, yeah, not sure what to do, so yep, stay continued, we'll let you know.